Batman 89 Echoes. Didn't know I was getting this. Yes, the link in the description for my thoughts on the Batman 89 comic book, uh, which is the sequel to the 89 movie, Michael Keaton's universe, where uh, Harvey Dent is basically um, played by Lando Calrissian. Yep, that's right. Billy Lee Williams. Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer shows up, and Batman doesn't save the day in his own book. And while there's really cool variant covers and a few images that are good, it is Sam Hamm writing some sort of weird virtue signal about inner city race and uh, poverty and all these different things. And it's just very strange and felt like 2022 or 2020, whatever it is, uh, politicking applied to 1989's universe and it was i thought terrible so with batman 89 echoes my expectation level was exceedingly low and i have to admit the cover is kind of cool i actually wish this was not this weird obviously this is supposed to be harley quinn um and this is scarecrow but i don't know why we would put all that on the cover and not just, I don't know. It, it, it makes no sense to have all of this because the entire story and the premise of the story is mystery. And we don't know what's happening. And then they rip off the dark Knight because they have like fake Batman. So fake Batman shows up. He's got like fake suit on. He gets shot and killed by the people that he was attacking. And it's the third or fourth time. His is supposed to be Harvey Bullock. I don't know, he's drawn this way in this panel, and then this panel, he's drawn like this. Like, this does not look like <laughs> they they are not the same character, like, at all, in one panel versus the next panel. Like, it's so insane how inconsistent the art is. Like, let me go back up here. Who is the art? Oh, Joe Can Canone. Is, oh, wow. Okay. He actually usually is not. All right. Well, whatever. Sorry, Joe, you missed the button with this uh, Harvey Bullock. Uh, uh, Travis. Anyway, so this is Barbara. Um, yeah, short-haired Barbara, uh, brunette, not a redhead, um, who has not been shot by Joker, who is now the commissioner because Jim Gordon died in Batman 89's sequel. Um, yeah, that's how bad all this is. So this is her, Lady Boston. And her insulting this is this is this is this is Sam Ham trying to write a lady boss or stuff that art's terrible. Look how look how bad that digital art looks. Anyway, <clears throat> did your late dad, God rest him, give you a little extra legal help? Did you did you maybe inherit his personal mass goon? Nobody's seen Batman in two years, including me. Now stop thinking. You're not very good at it. What on earth like what? Like what <laughs> What on earth? Like, stop thinking you're not very good at it. Isn't he a detective? Why would you talk to him that way? Like, nothing makes sense. Okay, so we had Scarecrow on the cover. So there's no intrigue. There's no mystery. There's nothing that they're setting up because it's on the freaking cover of the book. But here, spoiler alert, we go through one, two, multiple pages discussing why Lady Boss who's giving Alfred a hard time, which by the way, doesn't feel weird, feels weird about why those Batman, um, people that are people that see the Batman, they're fake Batman, shoot him. Um, there's been three or four. They're all like, they have an incredible fear of the Batman. Well, obviously it's Scarecrow because you showed on the freaking cover. Like it wouldn't have been, it would have been obvious because of the fear metaphor and stuff, but it would have been, I don't know, an interesting story. Had you not like, I don't know, walked into a rake when you wrote this like this is crazy and then she's just mean she's like um yeah i came to an agreement with bruce i know he's batman basically but he promised he'd hang up the suit and she's like oh i'll tell you the truth i have no idea where he is okay so if you don't want spoilers i'll go to the very end we'll tell you where bruce is i was um there's no batman spoiler alert Part two, but there's no Batman. So just so you know, there's no Batman. Um, but I'll get into this. Um, I was so this is this is so uninteresting. I don't understand how they're selling comic books. I don't understand why anyone would. This is so. There's this. Okay, so we do all of that. Then we have this little side table about the Joker and whatever. It's supposed to be Harley Quinn, basically. 
all this is happening here. We're setting up some sort of Harley. In theory, they have Firefly conversation, they an explosion. It's just, I don't even care at this point. I've totally checked out to even what is happening or any real realm. This is supposed to be Firefly, which actually isn't a bad idea for a villain. And this probably would have been better for the story instead of having the weird fear scarecrow stuff being a distraction. Anyway, more spoiler alert. It's coming. It's coming. Because there's no Batman. We do not get Batman. This is this is Jonathan Crane. And this is the this is Harley. Here we go. Right? Harleen. Harleen. Lord help me. Okay, you ready? Here's your payoff. There's your Batman. Dear God. I don't understand why there's such an aversion to writing like action packed comic books, like good guys versus bad guys, uh, stories of heroism, story of saving people, dealing with the morality of whatever's going on in this whole universe and whatever's fine. Um, but yeah, Batman 89 echoes. Um, can't tell you that. I'll, I mean, you know what? It's one of those things where I, I say I'm not going to read it, but it'll be like whenever issue five or six drops, then I might read the whole thing maybe and revisit it. But it's like, oh, that's terrible. Terrible.